Hey YouTube user, thank you for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this desktop wallpaper right here. We're going to be making this wallpaper in Photoshop CS5. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find out what your screen resolution is. And to do that, you can right click your desktop and then select screen resolution. Then what you want to do is you want to see this one right here. Right beside resolution, that is your screen resolution. Mine is 1920 by 1080. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Photoshop, click on File, New. And I'm going to input that into Photoshop so then I can get a nice high definition image that fits my resolution of my screen. So I'm going to put in 1920 as the width and 1080 as the height. Set the resolution to 72. Color mode to RGB color. Background contents to transparent and I'm going to leave it as that and hit OK. So once you have that then what we're going to do is we're going to select our background color and for this desktop wallpaper I use black as my background color you could try using other colors but for this tutorial I'm just going to use black again so I'm going to select black as my foreground color then I'm going to hold down alt and press backspace and that's just going to fill the layer on my, my foreground color and then I'm going to create a new layer just by clicking the new layer button here. And then I'm going to try and find that same blue color here. So I can have the blue cloud effect. And it matches my logo. So I think that is about that color there. And then I want to select the brush tool. And make sure that I am using the preset uh, with one of the solid inners and it you know it goes out to nothing with the feathered edge and I'm just gonna change the size up to quite high so I don't have to click much okay once I've got that then I can just click a few times doesn't really matter where you click as long as you leave some of the black here just to give it a good effect and then you can create a new layer and then you want to change the foreground color to black and the background color to white. You can do that just by clicking this button right here. Then you want to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. And that's going to put some clouds in here. Then what you want to do is you want to go to, uh, you just want to select the clouds layer. And then you want to change the clouds layer um, mode to Divide. So that's going to give us the this effect right here. I'm just going to lower the opacity of my layer two, which is the blue, uh, the blue brush layer, and I'm just going to leave it like that. And then what I'm going to do is drag in my logo here. So I'll drag that into Photoshop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down Shift and drag that out by the right outer edge and by holding down shift it's just going to maintain the aspect ratio so it's not going to go like uh, too fat, you know it's not going to look stretched so I'm going to keep it about that size release the click and then release shift and click the check button and then I'm going to drag that so it is about horizontally centered and I'm just gonna make it just above vertically centered okay just raise that just a little bit and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this clouds layer above it so then it kinda matches in with the uh, clouds on top of the logo so it doesn't look separated and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this swirl this you know the swirl effect that we have right here within Photoshop and then it has the outer glow so what we're going to do is we're going to click on our brush tool and set this up with our brush tool so we're just going to click up here change the hardness to 100% or just click on one of these presets here change the size down to about 10 or 11 you know it's somewhere around there uh, you just want to make it so it's about the uh, so it's about a good small sizing on, just create a new layer and if I just give that a test go, yeah that's a good size for the swirl control Z to undo that 
and change the foreground color to white and you want to make sure that these three buttons here are unchecked so um, you know so they're not pushed and you don't want them like that you want them pushed out like that but all three of those buttons here make sure that the opacity is set to 100 flow to 50 percent so then what we're going to do is we're going to go to window then we're going to click on brush and we want to turn on shape dynamics if it's turned off for you then check it and we want to make sure that smoothing and protect texture is on so put that back in just by clicking the two arrows there and then we're going to click on our pen tool and then we want to make sure that we have set it to pass and we set it to pen tool and we have set it to exclude overlapping path areas here and make sure that that auto add delete is checked so then you just want to click once up here and click once down here but hold the click and drag it up towards the uh, top right corner and then click just above the center and drag that hold and drag it just towards the bottom right corner and then click just below the center and drag that up towards the top right corner and then drag uh, at the bottom of the logo and drag that towards the bottom right corner a uh, bottom left corner sorry and then I'm just going to click about there and click about there and just bring that up just a little bit and then I'm just going to do have a little flick of it up over here And I'm just going to leave it as that. So then what you want to do is you want to right click this and go to stroke path. Make sure that you have checked simulate pressure. And make sure that you've got the brush tool selected as your stroke path option. Then click OK. And then you want to select this, uh, this tool right here just above the shape tool, the path selection tool click off the path and hit backspace and then what you want to do is you want to remove it so you see how this one here goes over under over under well that's what we're going to do now to give a more 3d looking effect so we're just going to go click on our layer and then create a new layer mask make sure that we have our foreground color set to white and our background color set to black select the eraser tool and change that size down and click the solid preset they make the size too small we're just going to go over this and we just to make it easier for you I might just make it a little bit bigger so you can see it and then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit by holding alt and zooming in uh, while well, scrolling in with my scroll wheel button on my mouse and then I'm just going to click and drag over this part here because I'm going to go over under over under and if I were to slip and I went over that then because we created our layer mask then I could just switch this white color here to black just by clicking this button right here and then going over that like that and yeah I could do that to the same other side and I'm just going to switch those back and make this part here go under like so uh, obviously you'd spend more time doing it but I'm just trying to do it quickly for this tutorial so I'm just going to leave it like that and then what you want to do is you want to put the outer glow on it you can do that just by right clicking the layer going up to blending options and check the add a glow option click on the option then you just want to click on this color right here and then you can change that to a nice bluish color the same color as the clouds and hit ok uh, change the size and the opacity and yeah I'm just gonna leave it as that and hit ok so I guess that is it uh, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna put this the swirl layer just underneath the clouds 
so the clouds on top so then it you know gives that cloud effect on top of the outer glow here and the swirl so I guess that's it so thanks for watching rate comment and subscribe